Our hour police standoff ends with a man in custody. It all started just after 9 this morning on the 200 block of Comstock Drive off Ventura Avenue in Ventura. News Channel 3 reporter Kelsey Gerkins joins us live from where it all happened. And Kelsey, this started as some sort of domestic dispute. CJ, for more than four hours, people in this neighborhood were told to stay inside their homes as police blocked off several blocks to calm down a man who was threatening to kill people. All the streets were barricaded off, and uh, my girlfriend had been texting me all day saying, hey, there's a helicopter, and she'd been watching down at the end of the street with binoculars, yeah. and she said she'd seen a guy out here um, sitting on the street talking on the telephone. Ventura police say the man sitting on the street was 41-year-old Dimas Diaz of Ventura. Police were originally called out to Comstock Drive after Diaz entered his ex-wife's mother's home while she was watching his three kids. Once inside, he refused to leave. When officers arrived to the scene, Diaz was standing outside the home in the middle of the street. He told officers he had a gun in his waistband. This comment led to the four-hour standoff between Diaz and officers. Nearby residents received a reverse 911 call. It was also hard for them to miss the sheriff's canine units, helicopters, and Ventura Police Department SWAT team and negotiation team. Something's going on. I'm really paranoid, and my kids and dogs were all outside, and she's seen the canine unit go by, and then she's seen cops start setting up, and so she just locked herself, barricaded herself and the kids inside, and was just on lookout. Diaz finally surrendered just after one this afternoon, and it turns out he did not have a gun on him. He surrendered without incident, and he was booked into the Ventura County Jail. Reporting live in Ventura, Kelsey Gerkins, News Channel 3.